By definition, you can't touch or sometimes even see intangibles. Think of Uber, Google and LinkedIn, companies that have hardly any physical assets. Their wealth is bound up in their business model and their intellectual capital. The message at IBEX Business Leaders Conference in Dublin was that intangibles are now a growing part of both the Irish and the world economy and our future thinking needs to take this into account. The intangible economy is a description about the new types of economies which have been emerging over the last few years as companies have increasingly invested in intangible assets like R&D and design and so on and rather less in tangible assets like traditional buildings and uh, vehicles and machines. Ireland as a whole uh, is a small open economy and that means it's very exposed to foreign direct investment and it's done extremely well in attracting foreign investment to this country and much of that investment has of course been in, in intangible investment in R&D and design uh, in, in things like that. Um, and so that's proved to be a very strong plank uh, of Ireland's economic growth and recovery. One of the Irish success stories of this new intangible world is Kilkenny headquartered agri and food giant Glanbia. Building a model of substance requires investment both in tangibles and in intangible assets. And the Glanbia story is very much a journey of both. It's fair to say that in our early days, we were probably very much focused on the tangible side of that investment, physical assets, infrastructure, building up our footprint in dairy. But as we evolved, and indeed as our consumer evolved, and the pace of change and life evolved, our weight of investment really now has moved towards intangibles. Whether that is investment in our people, whether it's investment in our brands, and what we're finding is a real symmetry between those two areas of investment, and that's ultimately driving our growth. Delegates heard Ireland needs to use the proceeds of the new intangible economy for real-world projects to sustain competitiveness. This type of economy not alone generates wealth, but it also generates opportunity for staff. And really is important that our education system now is invested in. But we also have other quality of life issues. Uh, you know, a demanding population wants good social services, good social infrastructure. Good news is we have the resources. What we need now is to plan and to execute it. And the conference heard Ireland needs to continue to support intangible business growth or risk losing out. It's important that we focus on what Ireland is doing well and what Ireland can do even better to ensure that it is an attractive location for these types of assets. It's also important that we focus on the threats and challenges that are out there from other jurisdictions and that we ensure that our offering is the best-in-class offering in, in this space.